Pretending to be a cop and preying on an elderly victim. Tonight, an Akron man is facing charges accused of posing as a police officer and tricking a 90-year-old man out of his money. Yeah, that victim had technology on his side. I just wish it had never had to happen, but uh, I think that's the ultimate, the only way it can be brought to a halt. Bob Jones spoke with that senior and shows us how a home camera cracked the case. He's 90 years old and a retired firefighter who doesn't want his name used. Last month, he received an odd phone call. It sounds like he's desperate. The caller gave a fake name, claiming he was Detective Brian Van Patten with Akron Police and needed $100 to help solve a drug sting operation. And we would like to, to run a sting so that we can actually catch him at the house. Um, getting the money stuck under that trash can thinking he was helping the real police the senior put a hundred bucks in an envelope under a trash can i just played along thinking that uh, he would have been caught long before this looking to cash in investigators say the imposter showed up but he may have overlooked what was watching the victim's son had recently put a ring camera on his dad's front door that's a good thing and it allows me to keep kind of keep an eye on him remotely and that camera was recording when the crook arrived at the elderly man's akron house took the money and walked off police say he was identified as 36 year old christopher Heisel and arrested over the weekend he needs to be put away uh, he's done bad things. It turns out the suspect is no stranger to the victim. The family identifies him as a step grandson, and it was the family who told police the man captured on camera was Heisel. When it's a stranger, that's one thing, but it hurts even more when it's when it's family. The family says without this technology, the case may not have been solved, and the video allowed a judge to issue a warrant so police could look at the suspect's cell phone. Police say cell phone records built more evidence against Heisel. The senior is sad about the arrest, but feels it had to happen. I think that's the ultimate, the only way it can be brought to a halt. The victim's son hopes the video makes others thinking about scamming seniors think twice. Anybody else going through this, I would certainly encourage them to consider doing something like this because it really was the game changer in our situation. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.